together, it's doing something in a communal atmosphere and that's what makes it a special thing in general. Superstition obviously they've taken it a step further but they're actually using the, the imagery and everything to go with it. For me it's always kind of important that I can feel my pulse and you know sort of get kind of nervous because then I get a feeling that I'm, I'm going to be good you know because it's a part of the preparation. So I was pretty curious to see how the concept is now shifting like without any lights, just candles. Not to be too artificial, let's keep it kind of raw and pure but let the music speak and the, the atmosphere of the people. Upside down cross. I get dipsy usually, that's what I <laughs> Cup, couple, A couple of drinks to get this little loosey goosey. <laughs> kind of vibe off each other. We have two different roles, but most of the time he will be controlling the computer, the controllers, the main master volume and everything, and I'll be taking care of maybe the extra drums on the side, some fills or effects, but that's basically the two roles we cover over the live side. I think one of the places where I feel the most is in the UK, actually. It's one of the places where I have more fun and what I notice from the crowds is that people enjoy it more. I don't want to say they get it more because I don't want to say other people don't get it, but uh, the satisfaction level of playing here is much higher than any other place for me. London is special anyway. It's the most multicultural city in, in the world, probably. And you know, I've traveled a bit and I reckon London aces everything because it's got total mixture of cultures and it's total uh, integration of cultures. And it's, for music, that's obviously a, a classic meeting point.